Hi friends, today we are discussing about Azure Data Factory triggers. Okay, so we know why we require triggers, right? Because the pipeline is executed either manually or by using a trigger. That is the reason we require a triggers here. So Azure ADF supports three types of triggers. One is schedule trigger. Schedule trigger. Schedule trigger means it is the same. It is like a wall clock schedule. Okay, how we are scheduling meetings, right? How um, recurring meetings we are scheduling, same way it will support to executing our pipeline. And second one is tumbling window trigger. A trigger that operates on a periodic interval while also retaining state. So tumbling window trigger also same like schedule trigger, but it has some additional features. We will discuss in the next slide. Event-based trigger. Event-based trigger, a trigger that responds to an event. For example, upload a file, or delete a file in the storage account it will support storage event triggers and also it will support custom events custom events is nothing but a event grid okay so whenever it's like a publish and subscribe whenever uh, the user publish some message at that time if you want to trigger some way that type of triggers we called as a custom event triggers so here in this video we are discussing up to event based uh, up to event based triggers that means we are not covering the custom events okay friends first we will discuss about uh, difference between the tumbling window and schedule type so first difference is tumbling window always referencing only one pipeline that is the reason we call as one to one relationship but schedule type is supports the many to many relationship that means one trigger may execute more than one pipeline at the same time one pipeline might be configured for multiple triggers that is the reason it is many to many relationships and second point is maintains the execution state in the tumbling window the execution statements it might be success or failure it keep that state okay but in the schedule type it is just like a fire and forget there is no state maintenance and tumbling window will support self dependency and other tumbling window triggers that means tumbling window dependency is there dependency type is there we will discuss that those things also in the next slides and schedule type will not support dependency any dependency twt twt tumbling window trigger can support past and future dates and schedule trigger can only trigger future dates okay so we will see these things <coughs> so friends uh, i just <coughs> Uh, came up with one example that is hourly log daily log and weekly log so hourly log is completely independent it will execute hour by hour nine o'clock ten o'clock eleven o'clock like that okay so if, if it is success or failure um, the previous execution it should execute the next the next trigger right but daily log is completely depends on the hourly log here that means if the hourly log not executed successfully daily log will not execute it will not trigger the execution it will waiting for the it will show waiting for dependency okay same like weekly log daily log if it's not executed weekly log also will not execute okay here also we can specify like some windows like 9 9 to 10 one window 10 to 11 one window like if it's a window size is one hour we are specifying uh, window size is one hour so 9 to 10 one window 10 to 11 one one window 11 to 12 one window like that extra <coughs> so daily log at least it should executed 12 o'clock to evening 6 o'clock so continuous ex continuous success is there then only if you want to execute daily log then you can specify that window here offset and window size we can specify it okay twt dependency we can achieve through offset and window size okay we'll see that one so here we discuss right self dependency twt will support self dependency if you read here the trigger shouldn't proceed to the next window until the preceding window is successfully completed okay see the first two image the 10 to 11 window is completely dependent on the previous execution 9 to 10 window if it is not executed successfully 10 to 11 window will not execute it it will not start execution that is the self dependency so here offset is one hour the window size is one one hour right so they are given offset is also one hour 
and you see second phase second image which is 10 to 11 it is also depending on the previous execution but here window size is two hours that means two successful two successive executions should be there okay so 8 to 9 and 9 to 10 should be executed successfully then only 10 to 11 window will be executed like that we can able to define this is called self dependency okay whenever we have the dependency for the previous execution then we can go with the self dependency using tumbling window and next one is dependency offset here we can consider two triggers first trigger a and trigger b trigger a it is depending on the trigger b okay you see 10 to 11 window and the trigger a it is depending on the trigger b and offset is zero that means trigger b and trigger a both are start execution at the same time but trigger a will waiting for the successful execution of trigger b okay once it is executed successfully then only trigger a 10 to 11 window will executed successfully and see second figure 10 to 11 window also depending on the trigger b but the window will be 9 to 10 window okay that means the offset is minus one hour you understand right so next one is dependency size it is same like dependency uh, window okay uh, you see 10 to 11 win 10 to 11 trigger a 10 to 11 depending on trigger b okay 9 to 10 window but offset is minus one hour there is no size because offset uh, offset uh, the window size is one hour offset also one hour no need to specify the uh, size but if you see here 10 to 11 window is depending on the trigger b uh, but that should be executed 9 to 10 and 10 to 11 two windows should be executed successfully at that time you should specify the size is two hours why two hours because window size is one hour so if you want two hours execution successful success you want to specify the size two hours friends <coughs> we will see in the practically these things so we'll go to azure data factory <coughs> Friends, this will this video is uh, continue to the my previous video okay in my previous video so we created um, we copy the data from the azure blob storage to sql database okay that sql database we are saving this data for records we are inserting okay now we'll create the triggers here okay i'm creating triggers here My trigger first trigger is a trigger a so schedule type is tumbling window and uh, i'm giving that time um 6 30 6 30 means 12 o'clock you know right it is utc time it is uh, behind five and of our our india time okay and recurrence time is five minutes i'm not adding any uh, dependencies here Okay, it is independent trigger. Okay, I added one trigger. And now I am adding one more trigger. That is trigger B. Trigger B. This is also type tumbling window. And uh, time I am also selecting same 6.30. And the second C is 0. Fine. Recurrence is five minutes. So that recurrence is nothing but a window size. Okay. Here I am selecting advanced and I am adding dependency window. My dependency window is trigger A. This is trigger B depending on trigger A. And offset and window size is same. Uh, this is the first example. Okay. It will start execution at the same time. Let's see schedule type tumbling window yeah here time is very important so we should select time same time or feature time and yes right recurrence time is five and go to advanced and select uh, dependency trigger b and here dependency is five minutes that means one window because it, the same window right five minutes again Five minutes yes done now i'm adding one more trigger that is trigger d d schedule type is tumbling window recurrence five minutes and time is very important and i'm giving 6 30 
uh, that means 12 o'clock in our Indian time and here in advanced you need to select dependency trigger C so trigger C and the offset I am giving same I am giving same 5 minutes that means one window but size I am giving 10 minutes that means two windows should be executed successfully yeah so 10 minutes I am giving that window size is two windows okay I just clicked <coughs> okay my four windows are ready I'm just trying to change name here trigger B yes okay now I am publishing these four windows Yeah, it is almost published yes successfully published friends once you <coughs> publish so we can see the <coughs> the execution status in the monitor go to monitor there you can select trigger runs and here uh, there are different types of events right you can select uh, tumbling window friends these are all old triggers so we given the time 12 o'clock so we will see the um, logs from 12 o'clock onwards okay Yeah, friends we will see now so uh, we started uh, uh, we said the time triggering time is 12 o'clock for all the triggers now we'll refresh and see so then we'll understand okay right now 12 06 so friends uh, wherever 12 is there see first these four records one two three four records you see 12 o'clock so um we'll go one by one trigger a so 12, 12 to 12 5 window it is exceeded okay not you will go trigger b so trigger b if you click here so if it is dependent it is uh, it is showing like hyperlink okay so if you see trigger a it is not uh, clickable okay but if you click on but wherever dependency is there that is clickable if you click trigger b and here you will see green that means it is successfully executed and trigger b depending on the trigger a so this tumbling window this is called tumbling window you see dependency 12 to 12 5 window so if 12 to 12 5 window is executed successfully trigger a and trigger b also will be executed successfully you remember friends trigger b will start same time okay if you have doubt okay go to uh, manage and go to trigger b and just you see here advanced and see there is no offset but depending on the trigger a so both are executing same time please click on cancel don't uh, click on ok uh, otherwise we need to publish again okay so trigger a trigger b is very clear right now go to trigger c okay trigger c still it is waiting for dependency okay so why trigger c is waiting for dependency we will see here we will understand it is started 12 to 12 5 but it's still in the blue blue color so it is depending on the trigger b but trigger c you remember we are given the offset offset 5 5 minutes that means one window so you see here window window size is 1155 12 o'clock so trigger b 1155 12 o'clock there is no trigger that is the reason it is waiting for dependency it will never execute now because trigger b will never execute so trigger c also never execute uh, clear right okay so if you want to understand that one also go to here and click on trigger c and uh, click on advanced you see here you given the one window minus five five means five minutes window size is five minutes so one window offset okay sorry so i clicked on uh, okay that is the reason it is showing publish okay but no worries we are not we didn't do any changes we'll clip it like that only okay now trigger c is clear right so now you will go and see trigger d trigger d is depending on the trigger c okay and trigger c is not executing if it is blue color means it's not executed successfully it is waiting okay 1155 to 125 that means two windows we given two windows right so c c trigger c should be executed two windows that means this window time is 12 to 125 so 
at that means 1155 to 12 it should be executed 1155 to 12 it should be executed but 1155 to 12 there is no window 12 to 12 5 there is a window but that should take time to execute right because trigger c 12 5 to 12 10 will execute when trigger b executed 12 to 12 5 right that is the reason now uh, we will see here still for only there we will wait some time and we will uh, monitor again okay yeah friends now we will see again um, refreshing see now <laughs> there are so many records okay now we will see window 12 to 12 to 12 10 okay <clears throat> Okay, so trigger A, trigger B will be very clear. Now we will see trigger C. Where trigger C is executed, that only we will see. So trigger C, 12, 5, 12, 10, it is executed successfully. We will see here. So this window is 12, 5 to 12, 10. Trigger C is depending on the trigger B. And offset is one window. That means it should be 11, 55 to, sorry, 12 to 12, 5, right? That window should be 12 to 12, 5. Yes, see. This window, 12 to 12, 5. That means trigger b should be executed the 12 to 12 5 window then only trigger c will execute 12 5 to 12 turn window one window offset here it is very very clear right yeah and now we will see trigger d where trigger d executed successfully here see it, it shouldn't execute it still it is waiting for dependency it will never execute the reason we will see here the window size is 12 5 to 12 10 you see one window executed successfully one window not executed you know trigger d is depending on the trigger c and it is offset is two windows that is the reason two windows why one window is not executed because there is no there is no trigger for that time okay 12 to 12 10 trigger so 12 5 to 12 10 trigger d it is depending on the trigger c 12 to 12 10 two triggers should be executed right so 12 to 12 5 no trigger for the trigger c because trigger c is depending on the trigger b trigger b there is no window for 12 to 12 5 okay that is the reason so trigger c is not executed fine friends now we will see where the trigger d executed successfully <coughs> see here trigger d executed successfully trigger d is depending on the trigger c we know and it should be two windows should be executed successfully window window one and window two what is that uh, time 12 5 to 12 15 12 5 to 12 15 it should be executed successfully so then only 12 10 to 12 15 window 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 will executed successfully this is c 12 10 to 12 15 okay this is 12 5 to 12 15 two windows should be previous right that is 12 5 to 12 10 12 10 to 12 15 both windows should be executed successfully right so friends i think it is uh i hope it is clear i given my best here okay now actually what we will do suppose if trigger a is stopped okay if trigger a is stopped what happened trigger b will not never execute if trigger b will not execute trigger c also not execute trigger c will not execute trigger d also will not execute we will see that scenario here just go on trigger a and stop it and now we will we will stop it right and we will publish all okay if it is successfully published we will see our scenario so what trying to do here if trigger a is failed or stopped trigger b trigger c trigger d always in a waiting state it will never execute okay we stop on now and we will wait some time to see that view here okay we'll see okay hi friends <laughs> so i will be back in this video uh, we will see we stopped right uh, on trigger a so what is going on now we will see so friends we stopped actually at 1220 uh, the trigger a so that is the reason you see there is no uh, window execution 1220 to 1225 okay but you see <coughs> 
um, trigger B is waiting for 1220 to 1225 because trigger A and trigger B should start there is no offset should start same time so trigger A it will not uh, it will not trigger the reason it was stopped okay but you see trigger B is waiting for trigger A it will never execute the reason is trigger A is stopped so it is waiting for trigger A you can click here and you see the tumbling window size 1220 to 1225 so that is not there that is the reason trigger b is waiting <coughs> okay and trigger c and trigger d is succeeded because these are offset that means previous previous based on previous triggers it is executed right 1220 to 1225 so it is trigger b right it is 1215 to 1220 that is the reason it is executed it is right <coughs> So like that if trigger A is uh, not there so trigger B will never execute in the next uh, iterations it will not execute trigger C and trigger D should be always in a waiting mode okay uh, maybe it will take one or two minutes now 1229 1230 it will start again new uh, new windows we'll wait one minute See friends now, um, trigger B is waiting 1220 to 1225 1230, and trigger C is waiting 1225 to 1230. Trigger D is waiting 1225 to 1230. So this will be continuous. That means this waiting will be continue because the trigger A is not executing. It is chain of dependencies, right? That is the reason. So uh, friends, I think this is uh, <clears throat> sufficient. I hope for the uh, tumbling window. Now we will go to uh, event based trigger. Okay, so event based trigger. Uh, I'm adding again new trigger. So here choose trigger, select new, and schedule type is storage events. Okay, and uh, it is event trigger. Just give name event trigger. Okay. Um, here subscription. So my retail subscription storage account and user detail is my storage account uh, container name you need to give here um, user container okay user container and block path begins with what is the name it will start so friends you um, be cautious it is a uh, case sensitive okay and ends with dot txt now we can select event blob created and blob deleted you can select both also i'm selecting only one blob created and uh, continue so it will see it is identifying one file with the with this starts with ends with and container name okay now i'm clicking on continue okay it is created click ok now we need to publish this one i am publishing It is published completed successfully and go and see uh, friends we will check now so many times it is executed right so um okay here you see uh it is executed 6 55 time uh, it is a utc time so we can say seven o'clock that means 12 30 12 25 12 25 it is the last updated in the table okay now uh, we need to go with the uh blob storage account right so we will go to block storage account there we need to upload the file then only it will trigger okay um, where is storage account yes storage account and my storage account is user details storage browser and uh, block containers so user container here yeah, user details okay so this is my file okay what i'm trying to do i will upload the file again here to fire the event to demonstrating in a storage event and uh, let's see okay. so user details just upload it so the file already exists you need to select overwrite upload it File is uploaded successfully yes friends we will see now so go to azure data factory and go to monitor and here you can select storage events so you will see that trigger is uh, fired or not 
um, what is the time now see it is 5 already 1234 1234 date is 84 2023 it is exceeded now we'll go and see uh, data it was executed last time 655 right it should be now 710 something see 75 okay same date and 75 75 means 1235 okay uh, exactly it is updated but you have a doubt right how many times so we executed so many pipelines but data is having only four records here so what currently we are doing so in the azure data factory uh, in the pipelines actually i written the prescript okay uh, sorry friends pipeline sync see here in the sync i written this prescript so whenever it is trying to uh, insert the data first it is deleting the data from the table that is the reason always it is there only four records otherwise it is having same duplicate records okay this is one thing i want to show you okay thank you friends have a nice day so if you like this video please like and subscribe and share thank you so much